up guys, this is Chris here from Honest Outlaw and today we've got this little guy for you. We're gonna be looking at the SIG P365 in 380. The P365, if you're unfamiliar, is one of, if not the most highest selling gun of the last few, at least, at least the last three or four years. And for good reason. It is a micro compact. It is a very, very small gun with a double stack, traditionally nine millimeter magazine. However, this one has been chambered in 380. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to my Patriot supporters for helping me out with the ammunition for this video. If you want to join the Patriot Squad, all you got to do is go to the link in the description. Also, there's a link to a local homeless shelter in Ames, Iowa. It's the YSS. I'd appreciate you click that. Now I want to thank the sponsor of this video, the National Association for Gun Rights. It's hard for me not to have those people as a sponsor because anybody out there fighting for our gun rights right now really is a good thing. If you consider we have one of the most anti-gun governmental systems we've had in recent years, the more people actually out there helping and fighting for the people, the better. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys would go over to the National Association of Gun Rights and actually check them out and maybe donate and do what you can to help out. Finally, I want to give a big shout out to Mr. Guns in Waterloo, Iowa. Helped us out, hooked me up with this gun for the review. I'm going to be giving it back to him afterward, but I am really excited to get my hands on this bad boy because honestly, I think they should have done this sooner. If you're wondering why you would want a P365 and 380, you probably don't want one because most people that want this are most likely sort of recoil sensitive or they just want a softer shooter trainer gun or the biggest thing in my personal opinion that we've been dealing with on the channel a lot lately is going to be the recoil spring weight. Because it is a 380, it does have a lighter recoil spring, so it is easier to cycle the slide. Now, there's also a couple other features they put on this little guy that I'm really excited about. Number one, we have an optics mounting system on there, which is very, very cool. It'll fit the little Sig Romeos and all that stuff. We also have three dot night sights, which is very nice. We have front slide serrations. Uh, we can also mount the TLR 7A Flex, I believe, on there, I think. It's got a pretty good trigger. A little bit of slide lockup issues there though. What's that about? Doesn't want to cycle the slide back with the trigger back. That's new. But uh, anyway, uh, it has a pretty good trigger when it works. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the damn thing only weighs 15 ounces. So that is, everybody says it's the same size and weight of the original P365, but I happen to have one of those bad boys here. And it is the same slide length, slide width, all that stuff. But mine came with different sights from the factory. That one I own is the 9mm and the one that's for Mr. Guns, the, the uh, 380 right here. You can see that it has different sights. It is a slightly different size. The grip on the uh, the nine mil looks a hair bigger, uh, probably because of the talon grips, but uh, the overall weight on the 380 is gonna be less. Uh, it's around 15 ounces for this guy and around 17 ounces for this guy. Not a big difference, but maybe a difference enough for you to actually try one. So you're gonna get lighter recoil, you're gonna get a lighter slide uh, to run the action. You're gonna get a defensive caliber that's appropriate, it's not 22, but it is not to the same level of nine millimeter. Also 380 can be relatively hard to find and it's not quite as powerful and there aren't as many varieties of defensive ammo in 380 as there are nine, but there's still quite a bit. So I think this is gonna fit a nice little niche. I don't think it's gonna be the biggest selling gun of all time, but I think it's gonna fit a nice little niche and arm a lot of people that otherwise may not be armed with a solid capacity of a decent caliber. Now this is the uh, nine mil mag, as you can see here. And then we have a uh, 380 magazine right here. And you can see uh, they're a little bit shorter. We actually have a nine mil mag loaded with 380 right here to kind of give you the difference. And we're gonna be uh, shooting this as well because my buddy Elliot uh, told me that they will function with the nine mil mags. And I'd like to see that because I actually have quite a few of these. So that would help out a lot and probably help out a lot of other people as well. Now, if I was gonna carry this, I wouldn't recommend that. I would only use the nine mil mags for like range use and stuff like that, but a mag's a mag. So we're gonna go down there. We're gonna shoot some American Eagle uh, 380 because that's what I have. And then uh, we'll give you my first impressions. All right, so we're gonna test out the first mag of the old uh, P365 380 at a solid concealed carry distance of 75 yards. Now I might shoot like shit today because we're filming this the day after St. Patrick's Day and I'm a big Irish guy so I got a little bit of the bottle flu.
nothing but air. <laughs> we gotta move closer. <laughs> All right, now we're at a more manageable distance of about 50 yards here. Let's see if we can get this little pistol on target. If not, we'll still move closer. Trigger's weird. Did I get something there? You did. Turn your ears up, old man. <laughs> Oh, we're just way high, okay. Am I hitting nothing? Mm. This is not great. <laughs> of course, the last one. All right, so we got the extended uh, 365 nine mil mag in there. I think I'm high left. Oh yeah, high left. That doesn't surprise me all that much if I'm actually looking at the sights now that I see there's a lot more gap there than right there. So if I would have taken a look at that before I shot, that probably would have uh, helped out. Also, it's important to put your gun on paper before you start shooting around. We're just having a little fun today. Uh, we're gonna go on paper and test it out and see what the zero actually is real quick as well. Okay. All right, so we'll try this little bad boy at seven yards here, which is obviously a lot more realistic distance for a pistol this size. Well, that's a pretty good group. Yeah, well I shanked that one, that was my first shot. I have a hard time getting used to the 365 trigger, but once I do, then I'm all good. This is obviously my point of aim here. So I am high and to the left. This at seven yards is, is what, what, what am I looking for, exacerbated at yes. 75 yards. So that's why we're going off the top left shoulder at 75. Makes sense. See now, what you could do is drift the sight a little bit, right? But if you had a red dot, all you'd have to do is twist a little thing. That's the big advantage of a red dot is that you can sight it in to your exact point of aim very easy. We'll do a 15 yard group here and just see how we do. No lock back. Slide feels like it's getting stuck on the slide release. It's harder to pull back, which is interesting because that's the actual purpose of the gun. <laughs> now these are terrible groups that I'm kind of just shooting quickly here, but you can see there that we're all left for sure and uh, a little bit high as well for most of them. This is bad trigger control here. That's classic bad trigger control. This is more a resemblance of what the gun is capable of. These I'm just throwing because I'm shooting like shit today. Try to throw the uh, concealed carry mag in here. I don't have a holster for this out here, but we'll just kind of do a little turn and dump and just give you a better, better representation of kind of what you're going to be dealing with. We're at about five yards from here and we'll just try to shoot him in the head a couple times. As you can see there. You look cute doing that. Do I? Yep. You can see there, it works great for what its intended use is. Gonna shred it? Well, I have like maybe two rounds left, but I've got this extra mag. So I'll probably just shoot a little up close. I didn't know you were gonna move. Sorry. I, I was a little either. baffled by that. Target scared me and I was like, oh. Okay. <laughs> so, all in all, 
I think the SIG P365 3D is in fact a SIG P365 in 380. <laughs> Basically what they did was they changed the barrel and they changed the follower on the magazines, changed some of the internals a little bit, and it fires a slightly smaller caliber. It is a same great gun in my personal opinion. It appeared to have a little bit of a quirk with the uh, slide release, how for some reason when I wanted to rack the slide while holding the trigger down, it didn't want to rack the slide for some reason. I'm not sure what that is. My issue with that is it's a new gun. We just got out of the box. It hasn't been shot before. It just newly released as well. So that's probably quirks you're not gonna have to deal with. SIG oftentimes like to beta test their guns on their customers. And uh, it's kind of a common thing these days. However, that's probably gonna be worked out for most people. I would imagine we had zero malfunctions. We had some accuracy issues, but I am notorious for accuracy issues with SIG. I miss like high with every SIG. Like for, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's the way they set their sights. Their sights are often off out of the box as well. So I have to drift them generally or put a red dot on them. Not an issue with this. If I was carrying this, I would probably just drift the sight. This small of a gun, I don't know if I'd put a red dot on, but maybe, maybe. I like the idea that it has one, especially if this is designed for older people, let's say, a red dot's very important because it's just easier for them to acquire. Uh, I like that it has a little side rail on it so you can put a light on it if you choose to, a specialized light, but still. That's fun. That way, even if it's a 380, people discount this, but if it's your only gun, that's your home defense gun, you know? It's better than a sharp stick any day of the week. So I like it. I like what purpose it serves. Is it for me? Probably not, but there's a lot of people out there that I think would absolutely love this gun. Uh, all you guys that were complaining about my Taurus TX-22 or PT-22 video, get this. <laughs> so I did shoot it. I shot one mag. I feel like I did an okay job with accuracy however I was pretty close the only real thing that I didn't love is the undercut of it yeah so so talk a little I'm bit more about that I'm not a big fan of that like I don't like any gun that really has that curvy undercut yeah where your finger's supposed to fit yeah, in like yeah like it seems like it would be a good thing but to me it just doesn't feel good well you know why it's not because people's finger sizes are not the same. Well, absolutely. So if you have too big or too small fingers, absolutely. it doesn't work. That's that why, absolutely makes a difference. That's why Glock <laughs> added them and then smoothed them out after right, a few generations. Right, right. I personally don't like that it's smooth. I don't know why they do that. Maybe they do that so you can slide your finger through better, but you gotta slide these fingers through too. I prefer all the texture I can get, so I don't understand why they don't put texture up here and put texture here, but maybe I'm just a savage. But I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. Maybe I will get better with it. Yeah, I think this but is I'm gonna be... Sure. Yeah, I think this is going to be one of those we're going to have to practice with a little bit. You know, micro pistols notoriously are difficult to shoot. Uh, they're great to carry, difficult to shoot. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's just something you're going to have to practice with. You carry a SIG 365 of any type, you're going to have to practice with it. It's just reality. If you're good at shooting handguns, you're good at shooting every other gun. That's the mm -hmm. way it is. If you're good at shooting rifles, that doesn't necessarily apply to handguns. Mm -hmm. So if you carry a concealed weapon, by all means, train with the damn thing. That's the most important thing. You gotta have a gun that works, you gotta have a gun that shoots well, and a 380 is another good purpose for that, obviously, is the fact that it's gonna be easier to train with for a lot of people, because the 365 in nine millimeter is very snappy. If, if you give this to somebody that doesn't shoot a lot of handguns and they shoot it frequently, they don't like it, generally. So if you maybe carried a 365 and then shot a 3, 365 in 380 as your, like, practice gun every once in a while. Now, I wouldn't suggest doing it all the time because you do, you do want to acclimate to that recoil as well. You don't want it to be the first time you shoot high high power, you know, like that's, an, that's another thing when people shoot low powered training ammunition then they shoot high powered defensive ammunition and kind of pops out of their hand a little bit. Make sure to train with what you plan on fighting with. That's good advice, honey. I feel like I stole that from James Eager. Oh. I'm too hungover right now to remember. <laughs> If you like this video, please like and subscribe. You probably don't, but uh, <laughs> we'll check you later.